Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another session, Rumination with Andrew. And today we are going to look briefly at this news flash that is just coming out of Jamaica. And we understand that Dr. Nigel Clark is going to be redirected to the IMF, that he is going to be holding or getting a position, a very prestigious position at the International Monetary Fund. So the Observer News, that's the Observer newspaper, um, uh, is giving this story. And let me see if I can find it. It uh, came out of the news. Wow. Let me go back onto the website. But it is being reported that Dr. Nigel Clark is going to be transferred or has gotten a very prestigious position at the International Monetary Fund. It says here in the Jamaica Observer, Nigel Clark to be appointed IMF Deputy Managing Director, Ministerial Successor to be identified. So Minister of Finance and the Public Service, Dr. Nigel Clark, is set to be appointed Deputy Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, effective October 31st, 2024. The revelation was made by Prime Minister Andrew Holness, who announced on Monday that IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgi uh, Georgieva proposed Clark's appointment to the position. Holness congratulated Dr. Holness, Dr. Clark rather, he said, Holness congratulated Dr. Clark on the pending appointment and noted that he has already identified successors to Dr. Clark in both his ministerial and parliamentary responsibilities should be appointed come October. Now, this is what Mr. Holness is saying, that is the Prime Minister of Jamaica, and I quote, the government has identified successors to Nigel Clark in both his ministerial and parliamentary responsibilities, and there will be a smooth transition in both capacities. We will provide updates in due course, and the public can expect policy continuity and a continuation of the economic achievements that this government has worked so hard to secure, Holness said in a release. And he continues, However, I wholeheartedly congratulate Dr. Nigel Clark on today's announcement of his pending appointment as Deputy Managing Director of the IMF. Now, I am sure Mr. Holness is expecting Jamaicans to be proud of such an appointment, a pending appointment of, and uh, that's Dr. Nigel Clark. And I'm sure that Dr. Nigel Clark, on a personal level, merits this sort of appointment. But do we understand the mission and the role of the International Monetary Fund? And I've been saying for the longest time on this channel that the IMF is a part of the US military industrial complex. It is the economic arm, the economic branch of the military industrial complex, something that we have to understand. Now, Dr. Nigel Clark was responsible for what should I say, implementing the policies of the International Monetary Fund in Jamaica. So obviously he has done a great job in destroying the economy of Jamaica. And we understand that the IMF is not there to improve, it's not a progressive institution to improve the life of, or the lives I should say of Jamaicans. It is there actually to implement draconian austere measures and policies that of course are contrary to any form of development. But we understand, you know, based on what we see now, the prime minister is going to tell us that it this is this is a testament to Dr. Clark's, you know, uh, intellectual acumen and that we should all be proud and be thrilled that Dr. Clark has gotten such a prestigious position at the International Monetary Fund. Now, I do not negate that if it were just that Dr. Clark did not have much to do with Jamaica's economy. That is his personal choice. But these men, I know that Dr. Nigel Clark is a brilliant man. He went to, he's a Rhodes Scholar. He went to um, what we, the University in London, that is the, that, you know, receives Rhodes Scholarship, you know, Oxford University, right? So he's a graduate of Oxford University, did, pursued mathematics onto the highest level of, you know, academic achievement, right? He earned a PhD at Oxford University because he went on a Rhodes Scholarship there from Jamaica. So without doubt, undoubtedly, Dr. Clark is a very astute person. However, we understand that being astute does not mean, therefore, that you are going to be, you know, running an economy. You are not going to be charting an economy that is in the interest of the masses of people. 
we understand that most of these people who go to these Ivy League schools, right, they, those who are Rhodes Scholars, right, they're trained to work for the elites of the world. And most of their policies are geared towards pushing the agenda of the elites as opposed to pushing the agenda of the masses. For many years, since 2013, Jamaica has been under the influence of the International Monetary Fund. And they have praised us and they have used us often as a poster child for their neoliberal economic policies. And I think that Jamaicans have become adapted, I should say, to being poor, because that is what the IMF policies do. They impoverish nation states. But I think that because we like symbolisms and rights, and so we're going to think that, yes, a son of the soil is going to be a director or a deputy director, rather, of the International Monetary Fund. I understand that he is, this is an unprecedented achievement and unprecedented um, role uh, because no other Caribbean citizen has ever functioned in that capacity. So it, it's obviously that Dr. Clark has really worked laboriously, right, in terms of implementing the policies uh, of the International Monetary Fund. So he's going to be given that sort of position there. So it's not necessarily that he has done a fantastic job in terms of improving the economy of Jamaica. It's just that he has done a fantastic job in following the directives, um, and those are the neoliberal, neocolonial directives um, of the International Monetary Fund, right? And that is why he's getting the position. You know, the other day I was thinking about the same thing for Kamala Harris, who is now one of the faces, and perhaps is going to be the main face of the military industrial complex come in November after the presidential election, the US presidential elections. We as people of African descent, and you know, people who have lived in third world nations, we tend to be very proud of our own or one of our own when they are at the helm of exploitation. So were we very happy and thrilled with Barack Hussein Obama, right? And I've been saying this on this channel, if you know George W. Bush, which he did, had committed some of the, you know, the treasonous acts, right? And the acts of terror, that we saw under the Obama's administration, we would have said that he was racist, he hates people of color, right? But if people of color do it, if black people do it, then it's okay because it's one of our own. Now, how logical is that, right? Shouldn't exploitation be wrong irrespective, regardless of the person's ethnic background? Right. So do, now that Dr. Nigel Clark is about to head to Washington and to become deputy uh, deputy managing director of the IMF, we are going to be proud. Right. Jamaicans are going to express their pride and their joy to have one of the uh, persons, one of the son of the soil, one of the sons rather of the soil, will be heading um, there to represent us. But is he really representing Jamaicans, or is he representing? the United States military industrial complex. I think the latter is true, not the former, because Jamaica has will have absolutely no say in the IMF. In, in fact, no country, well, no developing nation really have a say in how the IMF is run, how the IMF is governed. So that is something that is very interesting that we should understand. Now, so, the prime minister says something that is also very interesting. He says that there has already been selected a person to replace Dr. Nigel Clark. Now, how did that happen so quickly when the news just came about? It was just today that we learned about this sudden appointment. It means, therefore, that Dr. Nigel Clark um, knew before the prime minister also had previous knowledge that Dr. Nigel Clark would have been promoted, would have been assigned such a position but it was not declared to us. So already Dr. The, 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 uh, the Prime Minister Andrew Fornes has uh, assigned the position to other people of, you know, to replace Dr. Clark's um, departure or, you know, his, yeah, his, um, his resigning from that job. Now let us listen to what TVJ News has to say and before we just you know, 
let me share my screen with you so that we can hear what they have to say here from television Jamaica. This is interesting. Let me enlarge the screen and we have listened to what she's saying here. Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday News. Here is what we have in the bulletin. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark to leave government to take a post at the IMF. Energy Minister dismisses claims of oil discovery in Jamaica. And later in sports, Jamaica. Here are the details. We begin this afternoon with news that has sent shockwaves through the political landscape and financial sector. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark is leaving with the government and is to take up the post of Deputy Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, effective October 31, 2024. Now, Managing Director of the IMF, Kristalina Georgieva, made the announcement this morning in a press release. She described Dr. Clark as an exceptional public servant and policymaker with proven leadership in institution building and economic crisis management who has stewarded his country's economy to a stronger and more sustainable position. Now, Prime Minister Andrew Holness described the appointment I as historic. Dispensable role in the world economy, promoting global financial stability. As such, the position of Deputy Managing Director is global in scope. No citizen of Jamaica, or the Caribbean for that matter, has ever before served at this level in the IMF. It is to the benefit of Jamaica and the Caribbean for one of our nationals to serve in such a consequential global position. Dr. Clark will succeed Antoinette Sawyer, who steps down on September 12. Okay, so that is interesting and we I should correct myself. It seems that there has been other people from perhaps Latin America, I'm not sure, from Africa or Asia, who might have played that role before. I'm not sure. Didn't do that research. Uh, but he's suggesting that no one from Jamaica or the Caribbean region has ever functioned in that capacity as a managing director, deputy managing director of the International Monetary Fund. So that's something that is interesting. And the prime minister is suggesting that we should be proud and that he will perhaps be looking out and will be formulating policies that will be in the interest of the Caribbean region and Jamaica specifically. I don't think that will ever happen, right? Based on my knowledge of the IMF and someone who has studied the IMF for over 20 years, I understand that the IMF is a very neoliberal institution and it's almost rigid. I would say almost rigid. It is rigid. It's a rigid institution and one which doesn't allow for dialogue. It is not a democratic institution because as I told you, it's a part of the military, the U.S. military industrial complex. And the U.S. military industrial complex is not there to dialogue and to negotiate. It is there to formulate mandates and to tell nations what they need to do. And if they don't do it, then the military will show up. Right, because it's a part of the gunboat sort of diplomacy. That is what we have to understand. But we are framing this sort of narrative that Dr. Nigel's Clark appointment is going to be one that is going to be in the interest of Jamaica. But really, what has Nigel Clark, and not only Nigel Clark, but the other finance ministers prior to Dr. Nigel Clark, what have they really achieved under this or the IMF? agreements that they, they really implemented in Jamaica. What did they really achieve? I think that what, what one of the things that is unprecedented is that we have become a more impoverished economy with a very, you know, devalued currency. That I would think would be his legacy, right? But we are being forced to think that his legacy is one that he is one of the most brilliant persons that we have ever produced. And I'm sure that you'll hear in this, you'll be hearing this from our professors and the one, the Jamaican professor at um at Harvard University, Dr. Orlando Patterson, who has very high regards for Dr. Nancy Clark. Right? That's what we're going to be hearing, that we have a very 
astute, a very prominent member from the Jamaican you know, political class who will be working at the International Monetary Fund. What we will not hear is the fact that we have one of the worst performing economies in the region, perhaps in the world. Right? That is for sure that in the in the Caribbean region, we are one of the worst performing economies, even though they are telling you about all of the macroeconomic stabilities that we have achieved. Jamaica stands as one of the worst performing economies in the region. Right? And this is what we have to be proud of. A prime minister, a minister of finance who is going to be heading to Washington to be one of the primary leaders, as it were, a deputy managing director of the International Monetary Fund. So I just thought I would share that with you. What do you think about that? Do you think that, you know, Jamaica is going to be, um, you know, improved in terms of its economic performance with Dr. Nigel Clark being the managing the deputy managing director of the IMF of the International Monetary Fund. What do you think? Do you think that he is going to have some influence on policies uh, that are formulated at that neoliberal institution? Please let me hear in the comment box. But I just thought of sharing that with you. Hope to see you in another video. All the best to you. Bye.